This is a Game Caviar production. Okay, so not having it in the Game Caviar Studios, I'm playing some Black Ops on, uh, this is Bare Bones gameplay on fire, firing range, of course. Um, this video, I'm going to do something that I haven't done before on Game Caviar, but it's something that I want to do on a at least quarterly basis, if not a, a yearly basis, more like a quarterly basis. And it's, um, I'm going to announce the winter lineup of games that will be featured on uh game caviar now these are primarily the uh the games that will be featured the most on game caviar and i want to give you guys a heads up so you can know exactly what's going to be uh coming in the future months of game caviar um first off we have the direct sequel to this game black ops 2 uh of course is really hyped the next installment of call of duty made by treyarch uh, with this game, I'm going to be featuring videos of multiplayer uh, zombies and the single player campaign. I want to go and really uh, dive into this game. I think Treyarch does a really good job with their Call of Duty games. Um, you know, if you want to compare them to Infinity War, they do a really good job. So I want to make sure that I show you guys as many um, areas of that game as possible. Uh, next up, another big game, Halo 4, and that, that's going to come out before Black Ops 2, so expect to see that before. Um, I, again, Halo, with Halo 4, it's going to be um, single player and multiplayer, and um, it's been a while since they've uh, released a, a really good Halo game. Um, uh, from what I understand, Halo Reach was really good. Uh, Halo ODST was okay. I liked it. A lot of people didn't really like it that much, but this is Halo 4. You're back in the Master Chief suit and you're going to, um, you're basically going to war, you know, like a one-man war machine. And from what I read, this is the, uh, beginning of a, uh, what is it? A three or four game Halo trilogy. So this storyline will most likely take us into the next gen, the Xbox 720. But for now, when the begin when this game comes out in the beginning of November, um, I'm gonna be doing multiplayer and single player campaigns, and I think they have another mode, so I'm gonna uh, incorporate that. But mostly multiplayer and single player campaign. I'm gonna be doing a uh, I guess a playthrough or a let's play, and as as well as you'll be able to see me uh, progress through the multiplayer um, uh, part of the game. Uh, another game that's coming out. Uh, what, is, what is it? It's coming out on the 30th of October. It's coming up in, in six days. Assassin's Creed 3. Now, this game has been hyped since, the, uh, since it was announced. I will say this. I am not the biggest fan of the Assassin's Creed series. But when this game was announced, I was really hyped up about it. And I was really excited to play it. You're going to be playing in America during the uh, Revolutionary War. And uh, another part of the single player campaign is going to be playing in present time, 2012. I got this information off of Wikipedia. So if it's um, wrong, please don't hold it against me. Um, but when you, you, you're supposed to be playing in 2012... And you're supposed to be uh, trying to stop an, uh, an, an apocalypse, an, uh, what is it, like an extension level event or like an apocalypse type deal. I don't know exactly how that works out. I haven't heard much about that part of the, of, of the storyline, but I do know you would definitely be playing in the revolutionary. I'm going to be really leaning on a single player campaign for that, doing a playthrough, just going through and letting you see the storyline and letting you see exactly how I played the game. It's going to be really fun. I haven't played Assassin's Creed in a long time, so it's going to be fun to really get back into that game. And finally, uh, a game that recently came out, Medal of Honor Warfighter. You will see both single-player videos and multiplayer videos of that game. I love the multiplayer uh, beta. It had issues, but um, from what I understand, uh, Danger Close fixed most of those problems. So I can't wait to actually get in the game and actually get online to see if they actually fixed it. Or if it's going to be still a work in progress. Uh, that's one of the plus sides of releasing a beta. You get people to give you direct feedback so you can go in and fix the game. I really like that. It shows that the developer actually cares. The single player campaign is going to be amazing. I have no doubts about that. 
I love the uh, last year's Medal of Honor, uh, Medal of Honor single player campaign, and I truly believe that this year's Medal of Honor campaign, Warfighter campaign, will be just as good or even better than its uh, predecessor. But yeah, uh, Halo 4, Black Ops 2, Assassin's Creed 3, and Medal of Honor. That is the winner lineup for Game Caviar. If you have any other games that you want to see, let me know, and uh, I could probably incorporate them. Thanks for watching the video. Like it. Subscribe to the channel. I'm not having it, and I'm out. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.